Hello, my name's Aaron Silber, and you're watching Autodesk Inventor in 12 hours. So first things first, we're going to want to get our student license of Autodesk Inventor 2010, I believe it is. So we're going to go tr.im autodesk12, that's a shortened URL I prepared earlier, that will take us directly to the registration page. Save you some time. And I also believe their main page might be down right now, so little bonus there. We're going to have to fill out all these fields. Last time I tried it and I didn't give uh, <laughs> all the fields, it it barked at me, basically. So I'm going to select, you know, United States America, because that's where I am now. And give it my school email. You're going to need a school email. There's a different way to do it. If you don't have a school email, I believe you can go through some other method here. So... Um, if you don't have a school email and they can't confirm that you actually are going to a K through 12 school, you know maybe your school is a rather rural school and they haven't uh, invested much in the IT department. Uh, you're gonna have to get an invitation through the system from a teacher, and then they can confirm that on the page. But just fill out all the fields as you would need. So, you know, student. Graduation 2012 doesn't actually matter as long as it, they can confirm that you're a student. K through 12. But if you, I think it might be that after a certain, um, if you grow old enough that you're no longer, the graduation year you gave them is no longer putting you in a K through 12 school, they might kick you out of a little program. So try and give them a valid year. I don't know when I'm going to graduate. Um, <laughs> You know, just say anything. Um, other... Heck with it. Silver fixes it. I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. So now we're going to hit submit. Uh, give it a couple seconds. Okay, so it's going to say that um, there's an email sent to your student email where you're going to have to confirm your registration. So you're going to go to your schools. Email system. Wherever it may be. And you're going to have to log in with the permissions your school gave you just on their email. And once you, you uh, get the message there's a link uh, if you have a mail program that blocks links you're gonna have to click you know to enable them just copy paste this into your browser okay it says that it's been fully activated and so now we can go back to where we were over here, go back a page, and click to log in. Now we're going to have to go aaron.silver at icsd.k12.ma.us and the password we set in our registration process. So it's, it's a bit slow here, Time Warner Cable messing with our stuff. There we have our little generic account. Um, and then we can go to software downloads. Uh, actually, I think it logged me out. But once we're in their website through this student um, login you can receive a lot of free software from them their idea is if you train students with their software from the very beginning they'll be more hireable for jobs that uh, use these programs and then the employers will be buying big expensive multi-seat licenses so you know we're gonna go Autodesk Inventor professional choose your version English 32-bit You know, it depends if you're actually running 64-bit, but... S 
so let it load and uh they changed it a couple months back how you have to download it so there's a crazy notice right here you know don't spread it with all your friends basically uh loading time could be freaking out but uh basically once it's downloaded you can just install it like you would any other program. And then, you know, you're going to hit Get Serial. It's a button right around here I just clipped. And then, you know, you have a serial number right there and a product key right there. So those are both valid for one registration for one person of an educational license of Autodesk Inventor. So I'm going to actually pause this because I've already downloaded Inventor. And I'm just going to launch it. And it's always kind of annoying that it takes a good, you know, maybe 10 seconds on some slower machines to load this. And even, you know, quite a while on some of the fastest, you know, like, I consider this machine to be pretty good. But, you know, it's quite, it. once you realize what the the whole suite can do, you're never going to blame it again for loading slowly. I'm just wondering how I'm going to pass time in these videos of, you know, <laughs> taking forever for a vendor to load. But, uh, yeah, so it's going to take a good, you know, two hours on a, on a decent connection to download this, and... So now we have, you know, there's a probably a registration panel once you open it or install it the first time. Uh, right up here, it just says educational version. And basically, you know, whenever we create something, like if I create an IDW right here, uh, the only limitation is it puts a watermark on your, your files. Which, you know, if you're just doing school projects, tinkering around, anything, it's, it's usually perfectly fine. I actually found that in one of the formats it it uh <laughs> it puts the the watermark in a place that is larger than the paper. So if you just you know tell it to print directly to paper size, it's going to clip it off. But uh I I think for some reason it decides to go with a C size paper, but I don't know anyone that has a uh printer for paper that large. You know, look at that. That's not 8 and a half by 11. So we go to sheet formats a size landscape you know I'm just showing you you know then if I just export to PDF you know drawing one PDF you'll see that it just wants to put a little notice on there for everyone to stare at but you know if you can live with a little notice in the top and the and the sides, you know, you probably just saved a couple thousand dollars and it's a fully functional version. So, or you could, you know, go out and buy a crazy license. If your school has a institutional license or something, you can go ahead and use that. But this is the easiest way to get a license from the student program. And once you have that, you can start on creating parts for whatever you want okay so you know just let it download then install it and that'll be that's the longest part of getting started with inventor so uh, once that's done you have a lot of stuff out of your way so watch the next video to start learning how to start sketching in two dimensions